Hello friends. So I have a new teaching for you today, a intuitive message. Welcome back. My name is Angie. I'm an intuitive life coach and spiritual teacher, and I bring to the collective conscious, the awakened souls, some messages I receive in my spirit. And so this in particular is for those of you who are wanting to manifest and increase abundance in your life in any kind of way. So if that is you, then stay tuned. Okay, so today I want to tell you about why competition is an illusion. Based on the spirit and based on our highest self and who we are truly deep within our, our highest consciousness, our spirit, our, who we were made to be um, outside our programmed ego, competition is an illusion of the matrix, basically, of, of the lower consciousness, of the lower frequencies and energies that you're going to find here on this earth. And I received a intuitive picture. Um, this has been probably a couple months ago that I received this. And the more I think about it, the more I love this. So I'm going to share with you this picture, don't judge my drawing, of what I heard in my spirit. Let me grab it. Okay. So if you can see this, this is a spider web. If you can, let me see if I pull this back a little bit. Okay. So based on the message I received in my spirit, if you look at this spider web and you notice that there are all these different parts of the web. What I want you to, to think about is how this web represents our spirit. It represents the God in some way. It represents uh, eternity, the universe, everything. So this web is everything. Now, you are one of these little dots in the web. You make up the entire web. You are part of it. If this were to be energy, you would be a part of a frequency, a part of the universe, the galaxy, whatever you want to say. So when you be like focus on your part of the web and what you bring to the earth and to the collective of everything, you are helping to enhance the entire thing. So when we get in competition with someone or we believe that we're in competition in some way, what we're really doing is forgetting that we are a part of something much bigger than what we believe in that moment. So as we come into a, a higher understanding of the collective consciousness in this web, basically, if this were an actual spider web, and we have like a little spider over here. Here, let me just draw it for you so that we can have some fun here. So we have a little spider over here. Let make sure you give them, give them the flakes. Okay, Let's see. Here's our little spider. So what is the purpose of this web? The spider builds the web so that it can get prey. It could get um, the manifestation of food, basically. Now, the food isn't necessarily going to come and be right here beside the spider. The food may come over here. There may be like a little bug or something that gets caught in the web way over here. However, the entire web benefits when something over here receives the abundance or the desired thing that the web was created for. Now, the spider can move over and take it and move. Now, if we think of spider as God, as everything, then, and we are all of these things that are created for this particular, for God, we are actually a part of God as well. The web came from God. We are all one. So when we focus on our little tiny dot in the matrix, in the part of creating what it is that we are meant to do in our own journey on life, we help the collective. 
So when we get our focus on all these other areas, we actually forget that we are the one in control of our own little dot and that it's not about somebody else. This is about ours. So that's the message that I received in the spirit. Now, how do we actually apply this? Because I've actually ran into this problem myself many times where for myself and receiving it from others, where there is this competitive, competitive spirit, where there's this thought of like, if you achieve, I won't achieve, or if you receive, I don't receive. And this is part of the collective consciousness that has been programmed to the ego based on religion and power. Now, in the spirit, there is no hierarchy system. There is no one person of, or spirit, basically. There's no one spirit above a spirit because as you can look at this web and remember, all of it is one. So there is no one above the other. It all is just one. So if we take our mind out of the matrix and we see that we are all energies connected, we are all one energy. And when I manifest in something an abundance in my life that benefits the abundance of someone. Just like go back to, I believe my, one of my other videos about the traffic line, just like when somebody gets out of a traffic line and allows somebody else to move forward is a collective moving forward together. So when we get into the spirit of, of competition and fear that somebody may succeed, that we don't succeed, or that we're worried about um, like somebody stealing an idea or anything like that. We're actually getting into a lack mindset that we don't have power within ourselves. And we forget that we are our own source of energy. We are our own I am energy. Grab my book, Combos the Ego, learn more about that. So when we come back into the I am of who we really are, then we can release the fear of what keeps us from receiving what we are meant to receive in this lifetime. Everybody has a different purpose and reason for being in this lifetime and a different lesson that their spirit came to learn. And when we allow the other people to be in their energy of receiving where they are meant to be, then we can focus on where we are in the moment without putting the competition out towards another person or their spirit. Actually, when we send positive energy, we, and we understand that when I, in me seeking to move forward and to receive and to grow, it actually enhances other people's ability to do the same. So not thinking one is taken from the other, but one is enhancing to help the other. Now, if you're in a lower energy and you're watching somebody else enhance and grow and you are in that mindset of like, well, I can't do that or they can do that and I can't or you start having all these thoughts that you're stuck in a certain energy, then that's where you're going to be because that's what you're creating in your ego mindset to attract to you because everything's energy and we attract through the energy and the uh, and the what we hold within our ego. That's just how this lower energy and matrix works. Unfortunately, we got to work with it. And so in order to come out of it, we have to release the idea that it controls us. And we are the one in control because we are the I am. And we are part of something much, much, much bigger than our little dot. So focus on your dots, believe in your own worth, and hopefully this will help you to stay a little bit more focused in the now and start to manifest the things that you're desiring in your life. Namaste.